So here I want to show you just how much you have to pull in the controls to uh, to get the plane in the air. So we will look at the controls uh, and the acceleration. So very very fast. The throttles goes very fast in this stage. That's the first thing you, you I noticed. So. Then it puts some more in. I don't know why it do this does this and then puts some more. And then you can see the the arrow, how fast the acceleration is in this phase of the flight. And I'm neutral now with the controls. And look now how much I pull in the controls to get the plane in the air. So this control moves about, I think it's 17 degrees backwards anyway it's about 40 centimeters back and forth 41 centimeters back and forth so about 20 centimeters full and this is about seven eight centimeters something like that so uh, so here here somewhere is full So now it's neutral. Look at this. And I pull a little. And at VR I pull. And look. Look how, f how far I pull. Unfortunately I have not, don't have the SIS display running. But you can see how much I, how I pull. And... And the plane goes up very slowly. And there I release it to zero. There is, there is about zero. And you can see that the nose doesn't drop. It's very stable in this stage. Trimming up a little. It's me. Is it me? No. Trimming up a little there. So now we have VNAV on. Puts flaps up. And we need more lift. So it trims. But the speed goes up. Now it's fairly stable. And reaching. 210 knots and vertical speed increases it puts a little back pressure in the the turn and the, then then the controls goes to center and back a little so once again when going into the turn going into the turn autopilot does Trim before it goes into the turn, so it pulls a little back first and then turns. So again, the autopilot puts a little back pressure first in, then start turning. So it isn't first turning and then putting back pressure. So it thinks in forehand uh, b before, you could say. So once again. So when it comes to the, the turn, put some back pre let's see, put some back pressure in, then start turning. And you can see how far it goes, the elevator goes about 30, 40 when doing a turn. That's the maximum, it, it goes 30, 40 somewhere. And you can see the speed at which the, the plane is turning. And then it goes back and push a little forward. Then 
there is there it's stable and of course I ha needed to have my hand in front of all, everything and then it goes out to the, of the turn and then it uses 10 degrees 10 degrees about 10 degrees of aileron input and then 20 and the line they line up perfectly and he puts it in flight freeze and so it starts to turn let's see if it does the same in this turn so so now it will soon start turning let's see if it pulls the controls back a little when it goes into the turn or if it's stable enough uh, in this case it didn't pu pull the controls back a little back pressure so about uh, centimeter or so then it push, pushes it back so basically the controls are neutral now so so if I in this case would deactivate the autopilot the plane would be fairly stable it will have the same acceleration it will have the same everything will be the same there it pulls the nose forward because it wants to accelerate and how much does it accelerate with about 9 9.5 degrees in pitch you can see the trend vector on the on the on the so it is about 10 10 knots the trend vector little more than 10 and it reduces to 1200 feet and then it increases so it increased the the pitch before it got to 240 uh, 250 knots so the speed will go perfect to that it doesn't overshoot at all it controls it with the pitch but now it wants to accelerate again to go to 335 knots according to Vina and then it's go down to nine nine and a half so there the video was was ended but just to, to get an idea how much input you have to have on the controls to rotate the aircraft and how much input you have to to, to have to get by uh, get by the dead band and uh, also you can see the speeds the climb rates and it's stable with 94% n1 during the whole whole uh, takeoff uh, it doesn't reduce so either it, it's some setting i've set in sim mode to to have a, a trust reduction or something but yeah Thank you for, for watching.